What's going on everybody? It's Eric Rayweather back here helping you take your game to the next level and today we're back on the defensive side of the ball and we're going to talk about stopping drag routes. Now the drag route is always going to be the best route in Madden. It's just the most consistent route, the easiest to throw. You can get your safe three, four, five yards and sometimes more. Um, it's going to always be a staple in everybody's offense. There's going to almost always be a drag route on every play. That's just that's how the game is. So we're going to talk about stopping it because uh, it, it can be tough to stop sometimes, and a lot of people have trouble stopping it, and there's some people that just abuse it all game. So we're going to show a defense that completely locks up drags on both sides of the field. So what we want to look at is the 4-3 wide 9, and the play is cover 2 invert. Now, we're looking at the play art here. We, we always want to base a line first, but then what we want to do is we want to take whichever blitzing linebacker is on the side of the running back, and we just want to man him up on the running back. Now the only reason we do this is because if he's running a flat pattern, it's going to pull that hard flat away and leave a little space open for the drag. So we're going to man him up, and then we're just going to use her, the middle linebacker. Now we'll show you how this locks up drag routes. See, we try to throw it here to Crabtree. He gets met as soon as he catches it, and he gets a good animation uh, barreling through the defenders there, so he did pick up some yards. But you saw that he was met immediately as, as the ball was thrown to him. Eric Berry's right there, and I mean, as you can see, if he's not breaking tackles here, he's he's getting one yard at the most, and he's not going to break tackles every time. The game's just being goofy right now, but we'll we'll keep showing it. He's there every time. Just see there, he gets no gain. He's just destroyed as soon as he as soon as the ball gets to him. And a lot of people that like to abuse these drag routes, you know, they'll just throw it immediately. They're not really making reads, so. You're gonna completely shut them down if they're if they're one of those opponents that is just not really paying attention to what's going on on the field. You're gonna shut them down every time. I mean, you see there, uh, Parker almost jumped that, and and sometimes they will jump that. And if they jump it, you're going for six the other way. So if they want to run these dual drag routes all game on you, you know, good luck. They'll they gotta hope to break some tackles. Now you're gonna leave corner routes wide open with this. That's that's probably the biggest weakness. So another way we can set this up to, you know, defend a smarter player who's going to read the hard flat and say, oh, well, they're down there destroying the drag, so I'm going to throw this corner out. We can put both outside guys in purples. Now, if you do this, you need to blitz your middle linebacker while you're using him. You do this because you need three people blitzing in on a play. Otherwise, if they do run the ball, everybody's going to get pancaked. So... If you do run this setup, blitz your middle linebacker, stay on him, and just take control of him, you know, right away, and go user whoever. But you're not going to be able to throw a corner, and you're not going to be able to throw a drag. It's going to lock both up. So that's two ways we can run this to just completely uh, shut down people that like to abuse uh, drag routes and like to, you know, throw corner routes in there, too, if they're a smarter player. It's not going to work. They're going to get popped every single time. And you're, they're going to have to find something else to run on you, basically. So if you're playing someone that likes to abuse these drag routes, especially out of tight formations where they're hard to cover, uh, you know, this, this formation's in a lot of playbooks. So definitely add this to your arsenal and, you know, force them to do something else on you. Don't allow them to just beat you with these easy, you know, brainless throws time and time again. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, drop a like, a comment, subscribe. Uh, would really appreciate it. See you guys next time.